if you guys are unaware, we live on a beautiful freshwater system. We really should have a bass channel. It'd be a lot easier and yeah. cheaper. It's fall and Darcy's been seeing a ton of fish coming by our little river here, canal. Yeah. And uh, we went and bought some shiners this morning. And we're gonna start slaying some fish back here. That's right, I'm excited. There's a lot of exotics and we're just one of, we're really blessed where we live. Like we have access to fish that don't live anywhere else in the continental United States. And I'm not just talking of like, of course bass are here, but we've got like the beautiful cl clown knife fish. We've got tilapia that are highly invasive. Uh, beautiful peacock bass. peacock bass. I just saw a four foot gar back there. I'm not even kidding. Like Big a gar. Right on the surface, swimming across. We got snakeheads. There's all snakeheads. Bullseye snakeheads. I haven't not seen northern. like this yeah, much buddy. like activity out there in a while. So I'm and uh, Darcy just shot a huge iguana this morning. I did. And you know she gets squirrels in the yard. Yeah. So uh, we have a. Plus we're just living rough. in such a residential area. We yeah. don't live on a farm or anything. I just have like a quarter, a third of an acre or whatever I have. But we're on this waterway, so. Yeah. So Let's I got get... all my bass gear out and. Getting rigged up. Early morning frog action. I like to throw a topwater frog around before I put out live shiners. Yeah, buddy. Did you guys see that? That was sick. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just casted and casted over and over again. And I saw him sitting right there. I let him eat it, and I just yanked him out of the water. Look at his tail. That is a gorgeous little snakehead on a frog, baby. I wish Brian was here. That was epic, guys. But look at that a unique tail. That is wild. I've never seen such a thing. They usually have a circle right there on the tail. They don't have all those dots. I really enjoy fishing the frog, but we don't get like that many crazy bites. But you can see how the, the frog kind of flies up through the line here and it's kind of destroyed now. But that's my second snakehead on this frog in the last 24 hours. And that was just the coolest eat ever. The canal bully, these guys down here in South Florida are so aggressive. I've caught them in the past where they've puked up baby, frog, um, baby turtles. They just eat everything in the canal system. So that is just awesome. My smallest one ever, but I'll take it. Actually, I probably should get those hooks out before I get hooked. <laughs> and I literally just ripped this guy out of the water. It was just like, hook, boom, pulled him out. <laughs> going under. That one's going under, too. Second bait. Someone was under him, for sure. And there was a bait blow up on this last one, too. I think mine's going. Oh, oh, underneath, underneath. Brian, it's our wrap. You're underneath, fully underneath. Gotta you gotta go, you gotta walk, you gotta walk. Go, go, go. I can't. Walk, walk. There he comes, he came out, he came out. Okay, yeah, I did, I did. Good yeah. job. That's a called a jaguar cichlid. Oh, this one's running out. <laughs> Dude, that is a cool catch. Look at that fish. Wow, we never caught one of those, ever. Look at that. That is a cool exotic for sure. Yeah. I'm just gonna look it up just to be sure, and I'm gonna put them in my little bucket here I've got of water, and then I'm gonna release them, but that is a really cool, pretty catch. Pretty sure that's a member of a cichlid family, but I gotta confirm right now. All right, guys, just did some quick research on this beautiful fish. We have never caught one. This is the first one, or actually for Brian, that we've ever caught. Member of the cichlid family, and on the FWC website, it says that their biggest they've ever caught it was 16 inches and 2.78 pounds. Now, we're not gonna weigh this guy, but I just wanna get a quick measure on him. That's a pretty fish. And they're opportunistic feeders. That's a 15 incher. Nice. Not too shabby. No, awesome. Oppor opportunistic feeders, they feed on small fish. They feed on snails too and worms, but really cool fight. He put up a good fight, didn't he? Yeah. And he's so pretty. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's let him go. Bye, buddy. All right, let's catch some more fish. Before I forget, the holidays are approaching super fast and I have a wide variety of gifts for the kids and loved ones in your life. We got calendars, 8x10s, beautiful sterling silver necklaces, fish hook bracelets, you name it, I've got it. I would really appreciate it if you guys check it out right down below in the description. All right guys, we took a little fishing break, but I'm always out here because I'm checking on my plants and stuff. Sure enough, there's a lizard on the property. We're going to try to get him too. So we just love to catch fish and we have all these invasives in the backyard. Invasives that swim, invasives that walk, and you can see him, he's right over there. I just got real close, so we're gonna try and get him with the bow. I would use my air rifle, but it's too dangerous at that level, so let's go. 
he's watching me. You see him get real low, and now he just turned his head and he's watching me. I'm just gonna get as close as I possibly can and fire. I don't wanna miss. This lizard is used to people. He's been around a long time. Oh my God. It was a quarter inch over his back. You look at him still sitting there. Don't care. As soon as I get this arrow up, he's gonna move, but he'll get onto my property. No, Guggen, I'm a Guggen. Dude, if I had a gaff. I could have grabbed that, but I'm not that. I just, he's got claws, man. I don't want to touch that thing. Here he is. He's climbing. Hold on. Hold on. He's... All right, Brian to the rescue there. That was a team effort. I could have done that all myself, but honestly, it's just nice to have a team effort like that. Body shot, we dispatched him quickly. Let's check him out. Actually, this is an average size lizard, but the more that I've been hunting outside and the more that I've been getting rid of this invasive species, I really don't see a lot of big ones anymore. So I consider this a big one these days. But he was bright orange, hanging out where I like to sit, stand and bow fish in the backyard, but highly invasive. And you guys, I mean, a lot of you guys think they're pets and they're just they're not look at these claws they dig giant holes 50 100 feet long interconnecting holes underground and that's how we lost our seawall actually here at our house so getting rid of the invasives I know you guys are going to ask me will this guy go in my stone crab trap he's not it's a male and this thing right here in the front of his body that is called a dewlap and that's how I know he's a male because females do not have that now we got the land critters if I can get him untangled here, these nails are just wicked. He's like five foot tall, five foot tall lizard guys. Nice. I got a bite. I got a fish. He's odd. Whoa. You got a big fish. I got a little fish. Reeling him up. Whoa. What is that? I'm coming. I'm coming. Guys, I got a little bass. Check it out. I'm gonna let him go really quick because Brian's got a monster on. Brian's got a monster. Ah! I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Wow. <laughs> Epic bite. Over there, over Epic bite, guys. I had the little peacock bass on. You guys saw me release that real quick on the GoPro and then ran over for Brian. That's a pretty one. Yeah. No, that's a male. That's a male. Oh, he got a little bigger thing on it. Yes, he does. Whoa. That's yeah, that's a good size fish. These are all solid, like three, three and a half pound fish for sure. Very feisty. Saw all those big explosions too. Right in the corner. Makes it a male because of this right here. Oh, crap. That one, they're both not that pronounced. Yes, so those bumps swell when they're mating. So that's a lower bump, but definitely a male. Um, but he's not mating at this time. But I saw a male the other day that had a massive hump on his head. So that usually means they're more sexually active, I guess. Nice fish. Look at the colors on his belly. It's gorgeous. Show your fins, buddy. Show your fins. Wee! Didn't mean to drop them. Yeah, so these peacock bed and they protect the nest, the male and the female do, and they swim right around it. And uh, I'm sure the female's there, but we want to lease him where he was. There you go. All right, nice job, Brian. I just caught one. So it's like, doesn't really count. It was like a bait size. I might need, I might need to take a break to catch all the fish. I know, right? I honestly saw a bigger swipe on my bait. Like I thought it was a big fish, but it was actually small. Whatever. She always thinks things are bigger than they look. I think it's a gar. Uh, I hooked up though. All right, first fish of the morning. Next day. 
Oh, he had a cigar. I was, I knew it. I knew it. I saw the bait like swimming outside his mouth, and that's what gar do. They pick it up and they kind of hang out with it. We got a nice gar on. Look at that. Let me get the big net. He might break off, but let's get a net and try him. Barely hooked in the nose. All right, I'm gonna try to get him right in there. Try to keep it taut. Oh, are you kidding me? There you go. Got it. Got it. Nice job. We got our giant offshore net, guys. This is really funny. Brian can't even handle it's it. It's so heavy with one hand. It. Super heavy with one hand. <laughs> All right. I knew there was gar out here. You have to see this hook set. Uh, that never happens. It's not even penetrated. It All just right. kept them on for a second there. <laughs> I knew it was a freaking gar. All right. Not too shabby. That's a big one. Yeah, it's good for the backyard. That's the standard gar, correct? Just the gar. Regular gar. Regular gar, not a Florida gar. I know there's stuff, but well, bunch. no, the Florida gar. Florida gar. Yeah, not a not an alligator gar. Not an alligator gar. It's not the species that gets like massive. Yeah. But that's an average, nice sized one around for around here. Good eating too. All right, nice work. We broke the skunk off. I caught the biggest fish now. <laughs> yes. Ryan was crushing it yesterday. <laughs> yes. Also, check out this B-roll. Darcy caught a. Uh, clown knife in like the dark last night you know she doesn't fish enough so she has to fish in the backyard to pitch black <laughs> no <laughs> so she caught a nice clown knife last night and uh, hopefully catch one in the daytime but. no brian just got blind and he's like you can finish fishing out these baits so i did it was pitch black and we caught fish yeah it was great all right you want all right now we just got to try to catch one in the daylight oh, yeah, keep this one for your crab pots um whoa oh, big bait. swirl on that did you see that yeah i heard that we don't have very many alligator gar down here, and they're actually protected. So I know you guys are all going to talk about alligator gars and you catch alligator gars, but this is like one of the only places they're protected. So that's that story. Oh. Squeeze them. I'm Watch out, go behind you, behind you. What? You just did that. That pole literally just Whoa. went in the water. Now it doubled over. <laughs> it almost went in the. It almost went in the in the drink. Did it? That's what you need. I'll keep the bail open. It's crazy. Ryan's like, hurry behind you. What Whoa. is that? What is that? Oh, it's a bass. Nice. Hey, hey, I'll take it. Nice. Another species. That's a These nice one. These fish are feisty back here. It's crazy. It's nice. a nice largemouth bass. Yeah. What is that, two? All right. We're going to let the gar get a little calmer and we'll take a picture of them. Right. Look at, check it out guys, we got a largemouth bass in the line. First one back here since we started fishing. He almost pulled a rod over the side. All right, so now just like we were telling you guys, like we've literally only fished probably two hours since we started the video, like a couple different times, whatever, during choice times. And we've caught catfish, all the peacocks, uh, clown knife, gar, gar. And, a, and a largemouth bass. Amazing. This is why I, every time I come out here fishing, I'm like, we should be dark sizzle bass fishing. <laughs> <laughs> like, why do I need this pen? Why, why? <laughs> why do we need all these big boats? Uh, so much money. And we've caught so many fish in the backyard oh, so no, far. I didn't leave my house. It's crazy. Awesome. Sweet. You see them? Nice. Nice bucket mouth. Yeah. Not too shabby. Right. At least we caught one. I was curious if they were back here, and they are. Yeah, the peas really take over. Yeah. Right. Now we got to get some lines out, guys. We're literally not fishing. Every line has got eight. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh he's gone. On. You're on. As soon as I got by this dock. Jeez. So you put it by the docks, and you catch peacocks. Oh, he's all around. Uh-oh, you're wrapped. Nice one, nice one. Is that like the same pea? That's like the same one. Same size. We've got honey holes back here. Woo! Good job, Brian. <laughs> Whoa, what's a nice, here's another knot on his head too, look at that. Yeah. They all seem to be spawning this time of the year. Nice little circle hook. Let me see him. Look at that fish. It's not bad. Gorgeous pea. Right, is he gonna be in a calendar? Let's put him in a calendar. Okay. <laughs> it looks like the same one you just caught before. He's got the mark on the back. Oh yeah? I don't know. We're going to have to review the footage. <laughs> all right. He just wants to be caught all day. By nice. you. By you. <laughs> it's another. Let's see. Whoa. I think it's a largemouth. Oh, no, it's a peacock. Jeez, they're so feisty out here. 
<laughs> I only catch a little peacocks. It's so funny. Why are you in a bikini? Uh, because we're taking the calendar pictures like we just talked about. <laughs> oh, did we say that on camera? I don't know. No, yes, we did. Yeah, I'm in my bikini taking some calendar images for the freshwater calendar. I just got my thumb tore up by his lip. There he is. Nice. I should use him for bait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let him go. All right, got some beautiful images of this fish. Let's let him go. He's ready. Thanks for the fun fight. Actually, thanks for the pics. I didn't even fight that fish. Brian did. <laughs> He's gone. Yep. Whew, nice job, though. So, my guys, we got the calendars up on, on pre sale right now. We do. So, uh, pick Finally. those up, and uh, they'll be shipping after Black Friday. I know it's a little late with the time. We always get them up, honestly, for pre sale. Yes. So, order those up. We're only ordering a limited amount. Yeah, we might be like a, a week behind this year, but same time of year. No, that's fine. They don't, we never ship them until after Black Friday. So, yes. Uh, so, we're doing pre sale till then, and then it'll be going out. So, stay tuned. Yeah. Check Links down below. Out. Thanks, man. Can you help? What you got? Shit. Get him off that wall. Get him off that wall. Straight out. Oh, no. Keep it tight. Yeah. Nice large mouth. Yeah. Get him. You got him. You got him. He's out. Nice and slow pull. You got a tree on him. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Nice job. <laughs> he fought. Jeez. Epic. He fought a lot. He was far away, so it was like a long fight and he got in the woods. Beautiful fish. Look at that mouth. Bucket mouth. Well, that isn't a decent one. Not too shabby. That's Maybe. a nice fish. Yeah, it is. Three pounder? Close to three pounds? Two and a half? Maybe. Nice. Awesome. He's cold. Yeah. He's really pretty, too. Just look at him. He's like a perfect specimen. Nice. He's a nice next fish for the calendar. Yes. Nice. <laughs> I didn't think it was on. I just saw like the, the uh, float was gone. I was going to check it. Sweet. Let me get the net. They're all decent. Nice. Nice. Look at the colors on that one. Sweet. Gorgeous. All right, now we got two fish for more foilos. <laughs> back to back. He swallowed it. He's getting out of the shadow, woman. The males are usually like really gorgeous yeah. and like all lit up. And the females just have a duller color to them. Still a beautiful fish, but yeah. nice. All right, let's let her calm down. All right, we had a little costume change there. Yes. Oh yeah, she has no mic on. Yes, it's weird that we're taking pictures in my backyard my girlfriend in a bikini. Awkward. <laughs> like long guys coming by. Neighbors. Things we do for you. All right, let's put them back. Whoa, Jesus Louise. It's a different calendar. I love all the colors on them. You have no mic. Look how gorgeous he is. <laughs> All right, Darcy, we really killed it over the last couple days out here. Absolutely crushed it. This is like the best fishing ever in the backyard, ever, in all the years of living here. Yeah, we only come out like we know the bite is on fire and we see it, so we don't come out a lot, but we yeah. come out during a good time, so it's been really great. Yeah, no complaints whatsoever. Living our dream, whether we're in our backyard or out on the deep sea. <laughs> that's right. That's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. And until our next one, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Love you. Mwah. Nice.